Okay, and I'm back. And I'm wearing glasses. Reading glasses, actually. I don't need these. Um, uh, I just got back from Mexico. Uh, I've been gone for about a month almost. So I went to Mazatlan and pretty much the whole Republic of Mexico in the suburban. Pretty much. Anyways, so got back a couple of days ago. I got COVID. Feel like shit. Experiment! I left the experiment halfway. I, I, I actually started to disassemble my carburetors, my IDFs, and modify them. And I did a lot of testing because I was trying to figure out the, the, the uh, fuel bowl characteristics of the uh, fuel standoff. Um, fuel standoff is basically fuel not able to flow in the circuit of, the, say, the, let's say, the main or the more commonly the idle. It, it, it can't flow because the vacuum pressures are not correct on the throttle to pull it in. Therefore, you have fuel standoff because the fuel pressure in the bowl is not correct. So that's exactly what I was doing. I was doing a lot of experiments uh, trying to figure out fuel standoff and basically determined that the current design is just not feasible to modify the top so that the idle doesn't get any dirt. So I did the best thing. Went ahead and started to modify the carburetor itself by blocking off the fuel circuit of uh, for the main and the idle, which they share the same circuit. They shouldn't share the same circuit. That is a bad idea. But nevertheless, IDF did it. They fucking did it. Shouldn't share the same circuit, especially uh, the area where the idle starts to get fuel is actually right below the main. Think about this for a minute. Just just think, visualize it in your head. The main, you're opening the throttle really hard, really fast, okay? It starts to work. I mean, it starts pulling fuel, okay? The idle also wants fuel. What do you think is going to happen? The main is going to overpower the idle. And, and you actually need the fuel from the idle. Giving you that eh, hesitation or just like... The curbers just drive okay, but never really good, okay? And that's because you have fuel standoff that's occurring because the main is too powerful and it's sucking fuel away from the idle. So I'm basically separating the idle from the main circuit so that the idle has the exact same um, uh, circuit like the 34 pick 3 uh, Bocart carburetor, uh, the same Solex, you know, Basically, I'm doing the exact same thing. So basically, we're going to mirror that into the IDF for the idle so that this never happens again. So that I have a feeling that it's going to run really smooth. Like the throttle is just going to go as soon as you give a gas, that fucker is going to go with no hesitation. You know, because on the IDFs, it's very, very normal if you have them perfectly calibrated that when you start going and let's say you're driving, oh, 15, 25 miles an hour. Your RPMs are probably somewhere between 15 and 1800 RPMs. It's very common for your Y band to go to the like 15 or even 16. And you go, pap, 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 pap. it's still running okay, but it's, you can hear the engine going, pap, 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 pap. <laughs> it's because of that. It's because the fuel standoff that's happening because they sh they're sharing the same circuit. And now separating that, that should go away. And those pesky pops that keep coming, when the engine is cold, that you know, you give it gas, you go pa pa through the throttle. That should not happen. That that is not normal to me. That is not normal. There is something wrong with the carburetor, and I know that it's probably due to the fuel standoff that's occurring because they're sharing the same circuit. Okay, I'm gonna get to it, and um, I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, really quickly now, I'm gonna have to explain this really quickly. Um, basically, this is the fuel bowl right here. This is the fuel level right there. This is your stack. This is your air corrector. This is your main. Okay, this is your idle up there, right? Okay, has a tube going all the way. Anyways, and this is the circuit going down here, and there's the main. Here's the idle. Actually, the idle is actually closer right below this fucker. Uh, that's where it gets fuel. So this is why you're having a fuel standoff. But anyways, so 
if you can imagine, this is big hole or the big fuel hole on the bowl at the very bottom right there. So that's where fuel goes in and all the freaking dirt goes in because it always settles to the lowest point, right? Right. So it goes in and immediately boop, plugs up, goes up, bam, your idle is plugged. Okay. Now, here, when you open your throttle too fast, and let's say this, this circuit is clean, basically this suction going that way will steal fuel from here. And you'll get that lean point at low RPMs where you go, pa, 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 pa. Okay, yeah. It's happening because of that. So basically, uh, we're going to move that thing over here. We're going to make a hole right there, okay, which is right above the fuel bowl, right there. Now, on the circuit, on the inside, on the bottom of the carburetor, we're actually going to plug that area right there so no fuel will go through here or any dirt will go through there ever again. It'll get the fuel from about oh, 10 millimeters high from the bottom of the fuel bowl, okay? That's what we're doing. Carburetor is out. This time, I had to take the carburetor out. See, no carburetor. Uh, we're gonna have to modify this thing from the inside now. Um, not the top. I actually have to modify the inside. Just like I did this guy right here. So basically, what I did is basically drill a hole just like the 34 pick. I was going to drill it really low, but I, I couldn't get the drill to start. But now I have new drills and new uh, starter thingy so I can drill sideways. So I'm actually going to go the lower line on this carburetor because I want it a little bit lower, not that high. Because right there, you could have starving problems, starvation problems right there. So, you know, fuel starvation when you're making a hard turn, you know. So... That's what I'm going to be doing. Now, you're saying, well, what, that's not going to do anything because you're still going to grab fuel from here. And yeah, the, the drilling actually goes all the way into the bottom of the main stack, okay? That, that's where the drilling goes for this guy right here, okay? So what I did, it's really easy, actually. Very, very simple. Grab the punch. See right here? Push the, uh, the, the plug past this guy in other words it went bang 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 went past that guy and then kept punching it to this side once it was on that side because i'll know because when i when i when i go bang 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 i'll it'll stop because it'll hit this this uh punch then i'll just take it off with some pliers because it'll be nice and tight take it off and then i'll just punch it in another that much you know just so that it goes past that and it'll be like in here that plug will be like right in the middle between the stack and that drilling that's where the plug is right now so now I can't get fuel from here the only way it can get fuel now is from there from there okay so that's the whole idea okay but like I said this is just my my uh, what do you call it uh, my practice carburetor so I know what I have to change and I, I can do it a lot easier now because I've already practiced on my scrap of a carburetor and I'm gonna transfer this knowledge over to here okay so we might have a little problem I ran into a snack foo here uh, look at this right here plugged right plugged okay this is the other carburetor that I've been fucking with no plug no plug so it's using the paper as a plug for right here interesting <clears throat> so now i can't do my you know put this guy down the hole and uh punch in that thing and know exactly when i've crossed the event horizon <laughs> event horizon too many movies i know um you know when i'm pushing that this plug pushing it in past this drilling and um, somewhere over here you know end up over here I, I get it. there's no way to do this no more damn it let me play with it okay so I found a solution and basically just doing that um, don't have to use that to, you know 
to make sure when this thing crosses that anymore simply be, by copying this guy you know how deep it goes like right now is actually hitting this so let me pull it out and this thing's gonna go deeper see and it stops right there anyways so it's it stops right there because that's where the plug is okay which is beyond this hole it's on this side of the hole not on that side it's on this side okay so basically i went ahead and uh, pushed the plug in to that blue line blue tape actually same thing with this side we did the same exact same thing as you can tell okay now this one had copper plugs the other that carburetor had aluminum plugs okay the copper plugs or brass i'm sorry i said copper i mean brass brass plugs those fuckers were not moving okay they didn't want to move so the what i had to do is actually just grab a drill approximately the same size and just went you know through there with my dremel but i didn't drill it all the way through just enough just enough to where i could move it with the punch there we go so i basically as i, I I went ahead and you know it, I, I drill it a little bit just a little bit and then I'd go with the punch and go bang and see if it would go in and it wouldn't so I drill it a little bit more and then I would bang it and see if it would go in and it wouldn't and then I drill it again just to the hair and then I banged it and it actually went in uh, somewhat kind of hard but it went in so I got perfect so now we just went bang 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 until I got to there and I actually went ahead and verified by blowing air through here and I got a bunch of air blowing out through here so I go okay so I, I've crossed the the drilling that goes down this drilling we went ahead and crossed that drilling so perfect um, I did both of them I did check both of them and I also blew air from here to see if the circuit was still functional if maybe i didn't plug it right 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 so i blew air using my air gun through here like yay right and verified that i got no air coming through here which means no air through there means no fuel through there or there so i, I did both of them both of these and i got no air no air through there so that means that they're perfectly plugged so now i'm going to go ahead and plug that but not yet actually i'm going to go ahead and drill it over here you know the side drilling and then after we're all done drilling we're going to go ahead and blow it all out all the aluminum shavings should come through here if there's any and we'll blow out through there and make sure all the circuits are nice and clean otherwise it's just going to be a nightmare trying to get it to run until you clean it all clean all that shit out then it'll run right but uh we're gonna make sure that it's perfectly clean all right moving on um don't ask that was an experiment that was an experiment that is let's, let's just not go there anyways um i'm gonna go ahead and uh start drilling on the side right there you, you see the mark where i made that's more or less where i want to drill that low because if i drill any higher like i did over there chances are that i might actually starve the engine for fuel when i'm making a turn hard you know so that's where i'm going to try to make the hole to hit this hole well you can't really see it now because it's plugged but you guys get my drift okay so basically i'm using like that little cutter which is kind of like a flute that has a rounded edge on the on the very top and that is what i'm using to dig into the aluminum let's see if i can get up close there you go see more or less that's where i want the hole to be aligned to this hole okay so we did the same thing to this side and we're going to go ahead and uh change the tip to something else so that i can actually get uh, a flat surface and and an angle so that the drill can go in so that this drill can go in sideways like that you know has something to bite onto otherwise it's just you're just gonna break the drill when you try drilling sideways just go ping! unless you have like super hardened titanium drills or whatever that uh, machinists use which I do not this is you know uh, Harbor Freight so that's pretty much where the hole is now 
Okay, so that circuit is actually connected now. I already tested it, blew some air through there. I had metal shavings blowing out through there when I blew air through the side right here, through the idle. Idle, right here. And, um, okay, so we got a perfect hole. I, I, I just want to visually inspect and make sure that it's perfectly made and not lacking in any way. So nothing in the way, perfectly drilled. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that um this side and basically that's what i used after i made the little step using um this guy okay so otherwise you'll never be able to sink the drill in there and yes i did use the drill on my dremel okay i, I know i know whatever who cares it works um Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and drill that one and that's pretty much it and then we'll go ahead and uh, Find some plugs for that and that okay Feels like it went through so I'm gonna go ahead and Verify that, that 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 is the case. Okay, so I'm gonna blow air. You should see shit coming out of there. Oh yeah. Well, uh, maybe the camera didn't pick it up, but yeah, it blew up uh, aluminum shavings from there. So the hole is done. Both holes are done. That one's done, and that one's done. Okay, as far as the plug, to plug that thing right there. Okay, I'm actually just using a rivet. Yeah, it's a rivet. And I'm just, it's an aluminum rivet. So I'm just using a file to file it down to the appropriate size of that hole over there. So that's what I'm doing. And this is where I'm using my calipers. I'm trying to get it as close to uh, three millimeters, but actually that actually will work. And I already see what I got right now. There we go, close enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little piece of it right there and then hammer it in right there. And that should be it. Um, I am gonna use Loctite so that we don't have any leaks. Otherwise fuel is gonna weep from here down and make a mess down here. And you just don't wanna do that because fuel is very expensive. Not only that, it's a fire hazard. So we're gonna fix that. Okay, so Loctite, or we got the red Loctite, we got the little plug that I cut off this guy. I just snipped it off. And we're gonna whack it in. I need both hands for that, so you know, you're just gonna have to take my, use your imagination. Okay, we've been, we have whacked it closed. So, let's see. It's closed, so hopefully it won't leak fuel. I'm gonna test it. You know, put fuel in here. Wait, let me, yeah. I'm gonna put full fuel, bleh. This is not a Mickey Mouse program! Put fuel in here and see if it weeps. If it weeps, then we'll whack it some more. And if it doesn't, then we'll leave it alone. I'm gonna do this side, the exact same thing. Okay, so we added fuel. Now we're gonna let it sit to see if we can get any weeping out of here. Out of those red thingies. <laughs> That's the log type. Okay, we have zero weeping. So <clears throat> this carburetor is perfect. And I did cycle it, it does work perfectly. Everything is perfect. So we're gonna put this one back together. One carburetor done, next one is up. So, okay, this one only took me seconds to do, to get the, uh, the punch into the proper level right there. And same thing with this side, seconds. I mean, just literally, just bang, 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 it was done. Bang, 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 it was done. It, it took me seconds. The other one that had the uh, brass plugs, that fucker took me like an hour just to get it to the right level. So, it's hit or miss kind of thing. And this one also does have the plugs right here. So you're not able to verify like that. But but if you, if you know more or less, um, Oh man, if you guys don't have that, you guys will never get this depth, right? Right. Um, I'll put a note, the depth on the plunger, on the plunger, on the uh, punch, what the depth 
has to be from here, from here to the very tip right there so that you guys know how deep because the, the plug is actually right about there just past this hole sideways like that down there obviously okay just all right moving on second carburetor done just put some fuel in there because i need to know if we are weeping over here and it looks like we're not weeping we are not weeping I'm gonna put my carburetor back on. This is the second carburetor, so time for testing. She's back together again. Um, I haven't put on the, the oil catch can because what if it doesn't work, right? It, no, it, it, it should work. In my mind, I don't make mistakes like this. This is not a Mickey Mouse program. Let's not remember the past ones. Live in the future. <laughs> Anyways, or the, or the present, or whatever. Um, fire in the hole. Let's see. Perfect. This is absolutely just perfect. All right. Um, it works. Now, how long will it take for it to plug up, if it does ever plug up? Uh, I don't know. But um, anyways, testing time. Man, that engine just sounds powerful. He's got some driving skills. Bye, Twinkie. Oh, uh, dog is in there. There he is. Never gets too old seeing that car moving with the dog inside. Golden Retriever. Anyways, whatever. Okay, first drive. Um, it's very, very interesting, actually. Uh, I have the throttle it's like I suspected became very very responsive like I can't really it it just wants to go okay so I was right about that okay what I've noticed is though that I'm running slightly lean on my jets um, it's almost like I need to go up a size on on the idles but other than that, everything seems to work perfectly, like normal. Um, yeah, let me screw around with the jets and then I'll go for another drive. You know what, I changed my mind. I'm gonna leave it the way it is because I need to get several days of data, several days of driving data on the freeway and everything in the streets and everything. I'm gonna leave it like that because I noticed that even though my Y-band was still going to like, you know, 15 and a half on the Y-band, when I'm, you know, like uh, like it used to be before, this time it didn't have that hesitation, like misfire, you know, like, bah, 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 bah. okay, that wasn't there. Not only that, what I noticed also, the pops when the engine is cold, and it's a cold day today, It there were none, zero pops. So it looks like I was correct also on that. Throttle response, excellent. Like twice as better as before and there were no pops on the throttles when the engine was cold so those two seem to be solved now also the uh, drivability at low rpm let's say in second gear first gear it there's no misfires y-band does still go to like 14 and a half to 15 but it's not misfiring so we're just gonna leave it like that and I need to get more data. Data, data, data. Ah, reminds me when I was younger doing a lot of R&D. Data, data, data. Anyway, so I'm gonna get gather some data and see what it's doing and then uh, we'll decide if we're gonna upgrade the idle jets a little fatter, maybe 51s. 
or 52s, which I've got, but not the 51s. I need to order the 51s just in case. But other than that, everything's identical to before I messed around with it, where I was getting 30 miles to the gallon. So we'll see what kind of mileage I get. I should be somewhere around 30 miles to the gallon. Um, but we're gonna keep it like that for now and see what it does, see how it drives. I can tell you right now that drivability is just phenomenal, phenomenal. Something IDFs can never claim, okay? Wherever IDFs, you can never claim that. Okay, it's just, they're just not phenomenal carburetors for daily driving. Now that the hole is in a different location, I shouldn't get, I shouldn't be plugging up, okay? Because all the dirt is gonna settle to the bottom and then get ingested by the main. So I should be getting clean fuel just like the 34 pick three carburetor, which is the original carburetor that goes in the middle. That's the way it's made inside the bowl for the idle circuit. So I'm gonna shut up, I talk too much. I'm going away now. I think I got that on video. Okay, so I'm at the I'm at the zoo. Morelia. Morelia, Michoacan, Mexico. The zoo. This is big. I, I didn't think they were gonna have big animals. They do. Giraffes and everything. There's some giraffes over there. Right, right back there. Giraffes. They got everything. Monkeys, everything. How are He's gonna jump. Down there. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Whoa. He did it. He's okay, he's down there. We're at the pyramids. Some pyramids. There you can tell. Yeah. It's really nice up here. You can see the the lake right there. It's uh Lake Pascuaro. It's pretty nice. Okay, so I'm driving on my little street. I used to play here when I was a child. You know, like three years old, four years old. I used to play here. Um there's a little bit of everything. Poor, rich, like look at this house right here, right? I mean, it, it's really nice. And then you have this one that already fell down, Adobe home. My house is made out of Adobe, just like that. The My, my dad's house. Well, technically it's my sister's house now because she inherited it. But um, yeah, just a little bit of everything. It used to belong to my uncle right here. My grandpa's brother right here. Um, yeah, it used to belong to him. He sold it to somebody. I have no, I have no idea who that is, owns it right now. But I, my house is that way, and my wife's house is this way. Well, like I said, my house, the one back there, is not my house. It's actually my sister's now. But this used to be the tortilla factory. Oh, that's the motorcycle right there. Ooh, this is my neighbor right here. He's a moto aficionado, a lot of motorcycles. This used to be the tortilla factory, okay? This is where I live. There used to be machines in here that would be working from five o'clock in the morning all the way up to about noon. And then they close shop and they repeat the same thing every day, every single day of the week. It wasn't like, you know, Monday to Friday. No, because remember, everybody needs their tortillas. Uh, 
they need the tortillas every day. And here, back in the day, the tortillas were not packaged. They were just made every day fresh. And my wife took part in that, you know, getting up at uh, five o'clock in the morning. And she was like five years old and she was doing that. This is the center square of Pangansiquero. So, and here I am sitting down on a bench alone. How the hell did I get here? Seriously, alone in a bench, waiting to feed the pigeons. I don't know. I guess you get old and this ha you have to go through this shit. Oh! Hold on. No, 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 the aquel no, the polvo. So, okay, so I kind of lied. I'm not quite alone. My wife is with me and my kid, but uh, they're shopping, kind of, sort of. Uh, fruit cocktail kind of thing. So they're asking what kind of chile I like. And um, I'm not the chili guy, so I go mild. You gotta know your limits. Yeah, feeding the pigeons. So, all right, I can cross this off my list, my to-do list on my life. You know, being the old man alone in a bench in the uh, city town square feeding the pigeons check <laughs>